Good evening, everyone. I'm Helen B. Somalino, a child development worker of Project Paglaom, a full-time staff of GCAP. Single and waiting for the Lord, for His good, pleasing, and perfect will for my life. Let me tonight, let me share with you a few thoughts on why do we still pray if God is sovereign. Prayer is a communication to God. It is done by those who trust the power of word and thought. Prayer can be done in various ways like through singing or what we call commonly do that is through verbal prayers by expressing it. As children of God, prayer is one of the most essential things we can do to grow in the Lord. Prayers is our declaration of dependence to Him. Some might ask if God is sovereign and His will for our lives come to pass, why do we still have to pray? The scriptures not only teach us that God is our creator and sustainer, but He is also a sovereign Lord and King. In 1 Timothy 6.15 says, Which He will bring about the proper time, He who is the blessed and only sovereign, the King of kings and Lord of lords. He rules over all creatures and He is free to do all things according to His own will for His own glory and good pleasure. In Psalm 135 verse 6 says, Whatever the Lord pleases, He does in heaven and on earth, in the seas and in all the, de the ocean's depth. I also ask this Question sa akong mga ka-wider group member. Og mauni ang ilang mga tubag. We pray to communicate to the King who is God our Father. It is part of, our, of us practicing our faith into actions through, through prayers. He wants us to depend on Him. We pray as Thanksgiving sa tanan nga iyang gibuhat sa atua kay siya man ang sovereign nga ginoo. Ang akong prayer para sa ako sa una is sa wala pa nako na ilhan ang ginoo is pattern regyud kaayo magpray lang og amahan namo maghimaya ka Maria kada October gid na siya kay Rosary month mapugos gid ka sa pagbuhat Labi na kay ang imong gipuy-an, usaman ka devoted nga Roman Catholics. Mao nga taman ragyud didto ang akong nahibal-an kay mismong sa panimalay kay wala man na practice ang pag-ampo diha sa Ginoo. Gikan sa personal nga pag-ila og sa relasyon diha mismo sa iyaha. Dako ang akong kalipay ug pagpasalamat sa Ginoo nga adunay mga tawo nga naggiya sa ako a ah, aron ako siyang mailhan. Naka-join ko sa wider group sa mga singles, care group sa una nga time sa panimalay. Every Sunday gina siya. During sa wider namo sa una, nagid nang pag-ampo, praise and worship praise and worship, games, o ang words sa ginoo. Nagpasalamat ko kay adto nga panahuna gaka-amaze ko sa ilang mga pag-ampo. Pag-share sa mga prayer concerns nga usahay mapugos ka o hatag kay pangutan on, mansad ka. Dungan dayon o ampo ang tanan. Pero mero, kay suon-suon lang pero sa kadugayan, Nakita na ako nga adunay dakong kausaban giyod ang pag-ampo diha sa ginoo. Sa hinay-hinay na transform sa ginoo ang akong kasing-kasing tungod sa mga nag-ampo o pag-ampo nila sa ako. Ah. 
Prayer really transforms the heart of people. Sa akong journey, diha sa ginoo, dilig yu di ay sayon. Abi kay Christian na ka, is wala na'y problema. Nga moabot, daghan man di ay kaayo. Isa na ana is kanang temptation, problem sa family, mga expectations sa obang tao, labi na sa member sa imuhang family. Jealousy o uban pa nga usahay dili ni mo mapugngan, imo na lang ihilak ang tanan sa ginoo. Naapagani higayon nga kun dili nako na mabungat is ako ang isulat kana nga mga pagampo. Kay kabalog yud ko nga ang ginoo nakadungog, nakakita ug nakabalo sa akong gibati. Naalang giyod usahay nga kampante ra kaayo ko kay abi nakita sa ginoo ang tanan. Maong malimot na sa pagampo or kay wala may problema. So dili na lang po di ay mag magpray. Dito na dayon nagsugod ang mga questions. Nganong dili man dunggon sa ginoo ang akong mga pagampo? Nga mismong akong self Ako ang napod questions kung unsa ang problema. Ug didto na ako nakita nga ang akong pagampo di ay is mura na sad ug na pattern na lang pod sama sa una nga copy paste permanente. Usahay pagyud is selfish ra kaayo nga pagampo. Wala mahiuyon sa kabubuton sa Ginoo. Dako na kong pasalamat sa Ginoo kay dako kaayo ang tabang ang lesson sa one true God. Dinhi na ko na ila pagsamot kung unsa ang mga karakteristik ug attributes sa Ginoo. As Christians, we are given the privileges and responsibilities of communicating with the creator and sustainer of the universe. Yet, many Christians neglect prayers. Og isa na ako, anang nagkakalimot, og wala nagbalibali pag-ampo. Kay kampante ra kaayo, nga maayo ra ang kahimtang. Pero dili di ay ingon ana. Mapain or out of season, kinahanglan gayud kita mag-ampo sa kanunay. As part sa atong pag-worship, ug pag-communicate sa iyaha. Nga mo-grow ta sa atong relasyon diha kaniya, apil ang atong intimate nga pakigistorya diha sa iyaha. Pinaagi sa pagbasa ug pagsabot sa iyang pulong. Prayer should be governed by our understanding of God through the scriptures. Dr. R.C. Sproul demonstrate that intimate communication with God is at the heart of our relationship to Him. Through Christ, we are accepted by God and enabled to call upon Him as our Lord and Father. The Bible encourages and commands us to be actively involved in prayer. Sa kanunay, kinahanglan giyod ang pagtinabangay, labi na sa pag-ampo, kay kini makatabang o makadasig, dili lang sa akua, kundili sa uban nga tao, nga nagkinahanglan o encouragement o pag-ampo. 1 Peter 5 verse 6 to 7 Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God so that He may exalt you at the proper time, having cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares about you. Essentially, mauni ang pasabot sa prayer. Ikas nato ang atong care sa ginoo. Kay kay baluta, nga He cares for us. 
ang kabubuton sa ginoo mao ang pinakamaayo para sa atoa mao magampo gyud ta kay limited ramanta apil ang atong paglantaw when we say we trust god we submit to his will for our lives so dili na ingon nga magampo ta para ma-change ang mind sa Ginoo or para makuha ang atong gusto kun dili nagpakita ta ug pagsalig niya indeed god is sovereign and faithful to all labi na sa akoa padayon lang gyud ta sa pagampo diha sa Ginoo sa matag adlaw nga kita naglakaw ug naggrow sa atong relasyon diha sa iyaha dili mawala ang atong pagsalig ug paglaom diha sa Ginoo daghang salamat ug let us expect great and mighty things from God tonight thank you and god bless Mayang gabi sa tanan. Ako si Jane Codenera, isa ka case worker sa Paglao Ministry of the same time, isa ka Jika full-time worker. Salamat karong gabi kay mag-uban ta sa pag-ampo sa Paglao Ministry. Prayer for Paglao Ministry. Children are close to the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. He even goes so far as to say that the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like them. Thus, we invite you to pray with us for our ministry, the Paglao Ministry, as we attend to the needs of some of God's precious children. In Mark 10, 13 to 16, and they were bringing children to him so that he would touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Allow the children to come to me. Do not forbid them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as this. Truly, I say to you, whoever do not, does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it at all. And he took them in his arms and began blessing them, laying his hands on them. We will pray for Paglao Ministry and the prayer points will be flashed on your screen.
Let us pray, O oh Lord. Thank you for giving us a chance, O oh God, to serve through Paglao Ministry. Thank you, O oh Lord, for your great love for the children, O oh God. Bless this, O oh Lord, our ministry, that we will glorify your name. Thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. Again, we will pray for another school year of distant learning in the Philippines. The Philippines remains one of the only five countries in the world that have not resumed in-person classes since the COVID-19 pandemic was declared last year. The other four countries are Bangladesh, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, and Venezuela. Based on a recent report, UNICEF says that the prolonged closure has infringed on the right to learn of more than 27 million Filipino students. This news is troubling indeed. As we pray for the around 27 million Filipino students as the public sector begins another school year on September 13, while most of the private se sector are already in the early weeks of the new school year. Let us pray.
Yes, Lord, thank you, O oh God, Lord, for the uh, right of education and the privilege, O oh Lord, for studying and learning. Help us, O oh Lord, to stand in your truth and to ask your wisdom every day, O oh God. Especially, Lord, I pray for the teachers that will guide them, O oh Lord, give them heavenly wisdom. And even all the students, O oh Lord, the parents and the families who will help the children, O oh Lord, to understand and to learn even at home and even at distant learning, O oh God. We praise you, O oh Lord, for everything. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. For our announcement, virtual prayer gathering every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. via our Facebook page and YouTube channel. We will revert to an alfresco in-person gathering this Sunday, September 5, 2021 at 7 a.m., 10 a.m., and 3 p.m. However, you can still join us virtually on YouTube and Facebook. We encourage our wider group and IDM leaders to continue meeting your members. If you're planning to have an in-person session, please be mindful to observe safety and health protocols. We encourage families also to make most of our family devotionals, which we published bi-weekly. We encourage also everyone to get vaccinated. However, if you have health concerns or are pregnant or planning to get pregnant, please secure your physician's advice before getting the vaccine. Like and follow our Facebook pages at Journey with GCAF, at Inside Out GCAF, at GCAF Worship, and subscribe to our YouTube channels, Golden City Alliance Fellowship, and Jika worship. That's all for tonight. Let us come with the Lord to the Lord with prayer. We thank you, God, for your word. Thank you for revealing yourself to us through this, O oh God. Thank you for um, your assurance, O oh God, that in you we are safe and sound. Thank you for everything that you have done and you are going to do with us in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.